A blatant breach of the rules of war. A children's hospital in Deir Ezzor deliberately targeted and badly damaged. The Geneva Conventions protecting medical staff and facilities in times of warfare have existed for almost 150 years, but the most comprehensive survey of attacks on medical facilities in Syria reveals they are now being completely ignored. The medical personnel certainly are in incredibly difficult circumstances. I've spoken with doctors in the field that they are covering many different field hospitals. There may be only one doctor uh, in an area that's treating hundreds of people. We know in homes there are three doctors working in homes. Before the war there were 800. These pictures show an attack on a hospital underway. Opposition fighters filmed themselves as they targeted the Tishreen Hospital in Damascus, but this latest research shows the vast majority of violations were not actually by the opposition side. Is there a clear picture of which side is responsible for most of the attacks? Well, as you look at this map, you see a lot of blue circles, and the blue represents the government. 90% of the attacks have been committed by the government, by the Syrian government. We spoke to one Syrian doctor who's currently in a neighboring country by Skype. He did not want to be identified. From the day one of the, revol of the Syrian revolution, Syrian doctors were targeted by every mean, uh, being killed, being arrested, tortured. They were struggling every day to be committed to the oath they have towards their patients. The picture this report presents is one of numerous violations of international law, leading to a situation where very many Syrians have virtually no access to basic medical care. Things continue to get worse. This year alone, 49 doctors killed, 14 medical facilities destroyed in the last month. James Bays, Al Jazeera.